The man accused of shooting and injuring five people outside of a high school basketball game one week ago tonight, now facing decades in prison. At the same time, MPS is bulking up security measures outside the school to ensure families are safe. As CBS 58's Adam Reif breaks down the case and the ongoing safety efforts. Devon Joe faces six felony counts for injuring five people in that shooting. His niece was among the victims. Meanwhile, MPS had several extra security measures in place for the JV and varsity girls basketball game at Rufus King High School. But parents we spoke with aren't sure if it'll be enough. More police officers were on hand Tuesday night for the first of two basketball games, and several other security measures were also in place that MPS chose not to disclose. After the shooting and the student-led peace rally and at times contentious parent meeting that followed, MPS is assuring families they'll be safe at school. An MPS statement before the game read in part, quote, the district is working with event staff and law enforcement to ensure a safe environment for all spectators, both inside and outside our school buildings. Rufus King parents are not sure the increased measures will prevent violence, but say at some point it comes down to personal responsibility. Just trying to interact in a more civil way and learning how to resolve issues without it turning into violence. You know, they don't know how to handle conflict. It's basically, I'm going to shoot you, kill you. Earlier Tuesday, suspected shooter Devon Job was formally charged with six counts. The criminal complaint says Job's knees called him February 1st after getting in a fight outside a game. As he arrived, he grabbed a gun from his car and opened fire. Job's niece was among the five people injured. All six of the counts he faces are felonies, punishable by a maximum of 85 years in prison with a $150,000 fine. In asking for a $50,000 bail, the assistant district attorney said Job is a danger, a flight risk and the state is concerned about him being out in the community. This is a very violent act. It is a strong case. It occurs near a school. There are multiple people struck. The potential penalty is very high here. Now, as the assistant district attorney, though the state did argue for a $50,000 bail, the court commissioner eventually set that amount at $25,000. Devon Job's preliminary hearing was set for February 16th. Outside Rufus King High School, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News.